feels good to be popular and well-liked, right? And that's something we all want for our social media accounts, YouTube channels, but at what expense? Hi, I'm Suzanne Stoddard of Legitimate Affiliate Training, and today I want to talk about buying fake views and engagement. I'll explain what this is and how it affects your business. So stick with me, okay? Because you'll be shocked by the truths I share with you. And if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll be notified the next time I upload a new and helpful video. And if you want to finally make money online, click on the link you see below to some free training. So what do I mean by fake views and engagement? Well, that's when you find someone who will sell you likes, subscribes, and or views for your YouTube channel, let's say. You can purchase them for social media platforms as well. Why? Because you're being told it'll help your ranking. It'll help your exposure. It'll make you look more popular. And it'll help you monetize sooner. The gurus who are telling you these things are simply trying to sell their crappy products. They use language like ethical, legal, or whatever other nonsense you can think of to persuade you. Unfortunately, it's always targeted to beginners who have no online experience. Otherwise, you'd know better. So where do you find them? If these gurus don't have a specific link for you, most likely their own affiliate link, they tell you to look at places like Fiverr, Upwork, or People for Hour, let's say. Actually, a simple Google search will bring up many sites, and many look very professional. Let's take a look at Fiverr. I found this one for you because it's one of the biggest reasons beginners use this type of service. To have your YouTube channel monetized, you need to have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. And this particular person has three price points. If you scroll down here, you'll see that you could pay $46 for a quarter of the requirements, $79 for half the requirements, and $131 for all of the requirements. So you see how easy this could be? And notice that he even says 100% compliance with YouTube terms and services, which is so not true. And I'll show you that in a sec, okay? It's not illegal to buy such things, but it's not at all as safe as they make it sound. So where do the views come from? He's also claiming that you're getting genuine and organic traffic. But how do you really know? And if he's telling the truth here, you still don't know who he's targeting. You need a target audience interested in your niche if you want anyone to engage with you. Let's look at another site here called People Per Hour. And I looked for subscribers and a whole bunch of ads come up for people who will do similar type things. I chose this one here to show you as this guy is again making a lot of claims. He again says that it's 100% compliant with YouTube terms and services, which it isn't. He says they're real and massive organic results. And look at all the add-ons you can add. He says he can give you just USA subscribers. Okay. He also does this for other platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, TikTok. So where do these views come from? Many times, these actions are performed by bots, so it's not even real people behind the actions. Other times, they may be performed by real people, but simply because they're being paid. Either way, there's no real interest in your channel. There'll be no follow-up engagement as you add more content. And because the AI algorithms can tell, this strategy is going to stunt your growth of your business because you won't rank. For that matter, your business could slide backwards. Imagine if you bought 500 subscribers, and though you've been told they're from real account holders, these accounts are actually fake. Yeah, sure, they've been set up and verified, but no one's using them. Now you run the risk of them disappearing on you because platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, they all do routine cleanings of their users. That means that they remove accounts that are fake or inactive. So suddenly, you start seeing users disappear and your subscriber count actually goes down. 
I'd love to show you the pros and cons of this strategy, but there's really no pros, just cons in my opinion. And let me tell you why. You see, people who cheat the system like this end up destroying their business in the long run. Our online world has gotten very smart. What I mean by that is the use of AI algorithms. Channels like YouTube or platforms like Facebook and Instagram all use sophisticated algorithms to keep track of their member accounts. They can tell when actions don't line up. For instance, to rank well on any platform, you need to have engagement. That means that if you want to have your YouTube videos rank on page one of the search results, you need to have an active channel where the audience is engaging with your videos. And that's by liking them, subscribing to my channel, leaving comments. That's what engagement is. Now, if all of a sudden I lost my mind and bought a thousand subscribers, but none of them engaged with my content, YouTube would know something's wrong. Same if I were to buy 2,000 views for a specific video. Yet my watch time didn't increase. Again, YouTube would know. See what I mean? YouTube can measure the difference between the views, the subscribers, and the watch time. They know if you're manipulating the numbers. The worst case scenario for you is that the platform will shut down your account for breaking their terms and conditions. So let's look at the terms and conditions. Let's look at YouTube first. This is YouTube's fake engagement policy, and they specifically say that they don't allow anything that artificially increases the numbers of views, likes, and comments. And down here, it says that content and channels that don't follow this policy may be terminated and removed from YouTube. Let's go on to Twitter. This is their platform manipulation and spam policy. They specifically say that there is a wide range of prohibited behavior, including inauthentic engagements that attempt to make accounts or content appear more popular or active than they are. Let's go on to Pinterest. This is their community guidelines. And under the spam section, if you scroll down here, it says, don't use any other unscrupulous tactics to attempt to improperly influence distribution clicks, or other metrics, including buying or selling engagement. So now let's see what Facebook says. This is their page about keeping activity authentic. And they say here why Facebook cares about fake likes. Likes created by fake accounts or people without real intent are bad for people on Facebook. They say here, we have a strong incentive to aggressively go after bad actors behind fake likes because businesses and people who use our platform want real connections and results. And how about Instagram? Well, if we scroll down here, they're a little more polite about it. They say, help us stay spam free by not artificially collecting likes, followers, or shares. And how about just one more? TikTok's community guidelines. If we scroll down to their integrity and authenticity, they specifically say, do not attempt to or engage in selling or buying views, likes, followers, shares, or comments. So I'd say that's pretty clear. Should I continue? None of these popular platforms allow manipulating your views, subscribers, comments even. So just because someone tells you that it's legal, ethical, and it's okay to do, it isn't. So what are some real-life examples? Well, my mentor, Philip Boroman, set up a Facebook page to show the difference between fake engagement and an organic one. He created this Facebook page called Smoothie Blog back in 2014. So that's quite a while ago. And notice here that it has over 11,000 people liking this and an, uh, over 11,000 people following this. Now, he bought these to prove a point. If you come to this page and look at the articles that he posted here, there is no engagement. So even though someone said these were real people, no one has come here to like any articles. No one is leaving any comments. This is what happens when you use this strategy. So imagine if this was your page and someone came to it, they would immediately wonder why there's no engagement with these posts. 
I mean, really? When you look at this and you see how many people like it and follow it, you'd think there'd be at least one comment. So as the business owner, you look pretty unprofessional, don't you? Now let's look at something organic. This is our private Facebook group for taking action online. There are 2,000 members in here, and it's very active. Okay, if you look at all the posts, you see a lot of comments. There is a lot of likes, loves, that kind of thing. Okay, like you can tell that this is an active community. So if you were new to this group, you would think, wow, the person leading this group has a real business and it's doing well. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope it helped you understand why buying fake views and engagement is dangerous for your business. And it's something you should never do. Why don't you let me show you how to build a real business? By clicking on my link below, you'll get access to some free training that'll help you get set up to build a true, honest, and ethical online business. And please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell, okay, so you won't miss any future content. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until next time, cheers.